Pow! Alright, how is everyone doing today? Well, I just told you guys we're back in NA, and I forgot what runes I ran on E West. <laughs> Give me a second. Where were my runes again? I, got, I gotta see. I, like, I legit no cancer forgot. Like, I'm not even trolling. Oh, I did, like, okay, I did the triple like that, okay. Scuttlecrab says, yo, I am mid, we can win. Crazy concept. Oh, my God. You know, this is, like, the one thing I don't like about NA. It's the people that always type in this, like, passive-aggressive cringe way. Like, not, not a passive-aggressive, but, like, they type in this, like, super ironic way, but not in, like, a funny ironic way. Type one if you know what I mean. It's, like, they're not being, like, funny ironic. They're being, like, cringe ironic. Can you give an example of cringe irony? How can I explain it? It's like when people be like, uh, I don't know, like, if someone makes, like, a misplay, because, like, okay, let me explain it to you. It's all in the phrasing. So, like, imagine someone makes a misplay, and then you're sitting there, and you're like, oh, my God, what the fuck was that? Holy, this guy's smurfing, you know? Like, that's, like, fine. But then people, they have this, like, little lilt nowadays. I don't know how to explain it. And what happens is that when they, like, say irony, they, it's, it's like, hard for me to explain, but if you know what I mean, you know what I mean. Does that make sense? Uh, what should I do here? Full clear towards top or bot? Zillion Ezreal. Nah, I don't want to clear towards that. Fuck that shit. Okay, so good news is Kha'Zix doesn't invade me early. Bro, I'm going to be honest, this mid laner fucking sucks. Like, it actually fucking sucks. I don't know if he's, like, wind trading or something. But no, this guy like actually blows. Really, really horrible player. He sat in base AFK for 15 seconds and then didn't even buy an item. Instead of just like insta TPing. Bro, this guy's the weirdest fucking guy ever. It might be a fucking trade first game of the first game of the NA grind. But it's like even if it is, I don't really mind. Because I can still 1v9 100 percent this game. Because the good news is that when you have a win trader on your team, it's like you only have one win trader. You know what I mean? And then you still have like three other people that are trying to win. Oh, Jax is dead. Yeah, I'm gonna crash this wave. Uh, crash wave, then we'll do top crab, and then we should be okay. Oh, you are the biggest moron ever. I mean, see, the thing is, if my TF wasn't, like, AFK and dog shit, wow, and he red carded. Guys, tell me this isn't a win trade, by the way. Look at how he's playing type 1 if you see what I mean. Tell me this isn't a win trade. Look at me with a straight face, and tell me to my face it's not a trade. Alright, well, the good news is that even with the win trading freak as our mid laner, um, we can still win through, like, top and bot, because I managed to, like, win top, and our bot's doing, like, super well. Yo, Karasmai, what if I told you, first game in NA, after not playing here for a while, and then this is my mid laner. You know what I mean? The guy is electrocute building ADTF. I told you this MMR is the worst? Well, if I told you it's like you're telling me this MMR is the worst, but this MMR is legit, like, Jim Chow. Like, not even trolling, if you look at, a. Uh... Wow, thanks, bro. Alright. Wow, okay, so we ult in now. Oh, okay. Holy shit. You know what the worst part is, too? Like, I told myself I was gonna reform, but, like, this guy actually makes me want to not reform anymore. That's crazy. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna play only through bot from now on. What separates a good jungler from a great jungler is, like, adaptability. And it's like, we need to adapt to the fact that our mid laner should have been aborted. So, the fact that we need to adapt to this means that now we're going to play for the drag. We're good. Well, don't worry. See, if I had more mana, I'd be down to go in here, but no, I don't have the mana for this. 
Uh, Dantas, we're gonna miss an expensive X right here? Nah, trust me, I wanna be on this shit. You don't understand, the thing is I'm like in good mental health now. So like, the me from a week ago would have told the- or two weeks ago would have told this you have to like, from like gone crazy. But the new me is like, reformed. Focus on the own gameplay. Oh, uh, well. If I try going for the crab here, I'm gonna get collapsed on by the enemy soul lanes and die because my mid laner is just trolling. Yeah, I'm literally only gonna play through bot this game. I'm just gonna adapt. Give all grubs, give all top crabs, give everything. Cause like, our top got solo killed after I got him a free kill, and our mid's like actually trading too. So it's like, the way that we win this game is 100% just by playing through Swain. Play through Swain, adapt to the circumstance, and we win. If you can land it, he's dead. You just gotta land it. You just gotta land it. You just gotta land it. I mean, maybe I shouldn't have forced that. No, no, I mean, I 100% should have. Yo, not TF is trading. Play for Swain, don't roam. Top sucks too. Yeah, I mean, like, listen, our top sucks and our TF is trading. We have to play for only Swain. I mean, the good news is that Swain can actually, like, 1v9 the f out of this one, though. Like, I'm really not worried. Listen, the good news is that for how bad our soul lanes are, our Swain and me make up for it. So it's like, it's here just me and Swain against the world this game. Why do I need to be sh that badly? I could end reset and then just go for like the heralds, but no, I'd rather just shove this in. Shove this in and then do it after. TF recalled at full HP? No, guys, like, I don't know why you think. Guys, I know he's win trading. This Twisted Fate could literally type the N word a hundred times, run it down 30 times, and then disconnect, and it wouldn't surprise me. Like, I know this guy's win trading. He's trying his best to lose. Don't worry, like, I, it's it's extremely obvious. Alright, I just want to herald mid. Oh, guys, RTF just saw Cossix walking towards him. Is he gonna die once again? Oh, shit, he's 1v1ing the Cossix. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Question is, full assassin? Nah. Kinda wanna play to, like, be beefy with my mother Swain. Uh... Loki Shred could be, like, really chill here, I think. I really like the idea of Shard Breaker this game, actually. Yo, how crazy is it, by the way, that my first game back in NA, GM Chow Lobby, win trading Twisted Fate, top laner that gets solo killed twice after I get him a kill early, and I might actually win this game. And I'm, like, performing super well, too. Yo, guys, look, look. Oh, my God, he's 1v1ing the Jax, guys. <laughs> it's just, like, so, like, funny. You know what I mean? Like, in the worst way possible. Good. He was the guy who typed in the lobby too? Our mid laner? No, no, no. The person spam typing in the lobby was the enemy mid laner. From like, uh, from like last select or two selects ago. Perfect. 
perfect. I mean, getting the Jaguar's fucking massive. Sucks I had to die, but honestly worth. If Yon can get you too, nice. Alright, chat, type 1 if you need to look at the uh, TF's match history. I'm curious, to be honest. Ah, makes sense. Type 1 if you guys want to know why it makes sense. Guys, why does Kennen sometimes take flash on D and then sometimes flash on F? On the same champion, by the way. Why does Kennen sometimes take flash on D? And then other times he's like, nah, flash on F. Uh, on like the same champion Kennen, by the way. So, my guess is that this is uh, a res... Oh, wow, this guy's actually been challenger for years, too. Wow, and this is what you're doing, bro. Challenger for years... I mean, listen, it is what it is. It's because some people, I'll, I'll tell you guys what happens. Some people spend years dedicating themselves to, like, getting high elo at this game. And then they realize that they're never going to make anything with their lives. They're never going to be pro because they're not good enough. They're never going to be streamers because they're not entertaining enough. So then they're like, oh, I'm just going to win shit in high elo so can I, I can at least make money to afford my, uh, my girlfriend's fucking BBL, dude. So that their girlfriend can stay with them for another week before she, like, cheats on leaves on... Cheats on them and then leaves them. Fucking sucks, dude. Sorry, TF. Buying your girlfriend a BBL is gonna make her stay with you, I think. No problem. Wow. Literally just like 1v4, forcing the Zillionar, getting them all to like 30 HP. Let's chill. I mean, the thing is, I, I, I say I want a Baron, but, like, we literally don't have the DPS. <laughs> we tried Baron, we just lose the game. Nice. Uh, can we do this? Yo, yo, TF! Imagine you came to the Baron. Oh my god, TF, TF, TF. What if, TF, what if you DPS the Baron? <laughs> oh, shit, wait, I'm dead. Oh, no, no, I'm okay. Oh, no, he's doing this. He's just sitting. He <laughs> Dude. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Nah, the thing is, I promise. I promise. I literally promised myself. I said, I'm not going to tell people to anymore. I promise myself. I literally promised myself. I'm like, I'm going to stop that. Dude, it just sucks our young close too. Because, like, this game would be the easiest one ever if our Yon was just, like, even somewhat decent. I mean, I think I can actually kill this. Alright, Yon, you just gotta be 1% human here. You guys remember, like, five seconds ago when I said the Yon just has to be 1% human? Yeah, he was actually 0% human. Oh my god, this is the most, like, unfortunate game ever. I'm actually, like, so tilted. Because the game is legitimately 3v5. Like, unironically 3v5. Unless! Oh my god, wait, this guy's actually gonna do something for the first time in this game, no way. Wait, are you gonna go for the inner turret too? Is this guy a fucking bot? Oh, I already reported him for everything. Guys, I'm being serious, I think this guy got hacked by an AI. Like, I'm not even trying, I don't even think it's win trade. I think this guy legitimately got hacked by an AI. That's like how insane this gameplay is. No, no, like, he legit got hacked by an AI. I mean, Jax is legit just gonna end the game. But if we go for the Jax, like... <sighs> nice, my top laner is on 34.5k. Please tell me one of them walks up here. I don't care. Force it, I don't care. Nah, just, just this, trust me. And then just play for a turn. If this doesn't work, we lose. We can't just play a losing game 3v5.
I mean, this just fucking sucks, bro. I'm gonna be honest. Like, I really don't have any other other words besides this just fucking sucks. Like, actually, just fucking sucks. I have to play a 3v5 in a literal gem chow game. And it's like, no matter how close I get, it's just not enough because it's literally 3v5. I mean, I'm giving this game everything I fucking have. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I'm literally giving it everything that I possibly have in my fucking body and mind and soul. Like... Oh my god. I think I might actually just like a straight up Sorrel does. Even though I only have one lethality item, I think it's fine. Oh my god. Yeah, it's fucking lost now. <sighs> the only way is if I manage to somehow, like, stall this wave. <sighs> wow. Imagine not playing for a week, like, not playing on a region for, like, a month, and then your first game, you're, like, hyped to play, and you're like, yeah, I can't wait to, like, actually go crazy, it's gonna be, like, really good, like, I actually can't wait for this shit, and then this is what you get, like, yo, guys, out of curiosity, out of curiosity, do you guys think it's possible that the scripting enemy, uh, Syndra was responsible for... Being the person that was win trading, 90% sure it's a scripter because it's a scripter like champ pool. And the guy, like, <laughs> this guy hasn't played in 11 hours, queues up first game 090. This guy hasn't queued up in an hour either. Like, you know, when something is just like so crazy that you just don't know what to say, you know what I mean? Like, it's just so crazy that you just don't know what to say. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Two days ago, the enemy guys, guys, guys. Oh my god, guys, guys. Look at this shit. Two days ago, my twisted fate that just went 090 on first time TF, right? Queued up against the same enemy Syndra that we went against last game. And this time he actually first timed Lissandra and went zero and six. Isn't that a weird coincidence? He didn't queue up in two days. Queues up first times Lissandra. 06. Today. Hasn't queued up in 11 hours. First times TF09. Oh, now I gotta look more into this account. Now, 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 now I'm actually like, I'm, now I'm curious. Let's look more into this account. Let's look into all this person's games, actually. Whatever. The way that I'm gonna hit high, 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 insanely high elo is because I'll have games like that and I'll still focus next ones. Um, let me go to the bathroom. Two hours later. So crazy. Dude, I'm just so, so mad that I lost this game. Oh my god, just because this win trading word that I can't say on stream. He's, he, he is one though. I, I'll, I'm, like, I won't say it, but just know I'm thinking it. He, he is that, like, actually. So disgusting. Actually, so disgusting. So, you guys want to see something hilarious? Phantom, right? Most played as Cannon, right? Most played as Cannon, he wouldn't trade him. Then he plays against Pigo Wigo, who's Rez. Rez Cannon, right? Rez Cannon playing on a Smurf account, right? Deciding to first time Lissandra, first time Zeri, 
and first time Oriana and give this guy three wins in a row. This guy is literally getting win traded to 90% winner Grandmaster. What the fuck, Riot? This guy is getting win traded to 90% win rate Grandmaster because nothing is done about win trades! Look! This game, Kenan one trick, 0 9 0, and then three games in a row! In a row! Kenan one trick, first timing. Random champs inting to give him three wins. Unbelievable. Unbe fucking leavable.